In this video, I'm gonna show how you can build these types of 3D animated instructions with Fusion 360 in Cadasio. So if your goal is to create instruction manuals, the traditional way to do this is with photos, manual drawings, and videos, but this can be slow and expensive and might not even create a realistic understanding of your product. So let's take a look at Cadasio. It's an online software that works in a browser and it reuses CAD data to create these visual assembly or service instructions. A few things that you need to know is that when you're working in Cadasio, it's gonna create a lighter weight mesh file that's stored on their web server that allows users, end users, to zoom, pan, rotate. This makes it easier to understand as an end user and the idea is that you don't have to be a CAD ninja to create these animations and instructions. And finally, if you wanna create this, you can do it directly from the popular CAD tools like SolidWorks, Inventor, Fusion 360, as well as working with neutral files. So head on over to the Fusion 360 app store, search for Cadasio and install it. It's free, it works on a Mac and Windows machines, and Cadasio happens to be a freemium model where there are limitations for the free version. Specifically, you can only do three projects at a given time, they have to stay under 300 megabytes, and there's some features that are only turned on for the paid model. But everything I'm gonna be showing today's tutorial is the free version, which is pretty impressive. So once you have the app installed in Fusion 360, go over to your utilities and turn it on. I'm gonna log in. And now with that ready, I can take my Fusion 360 design and pass this into Cadasio. It's gonna create what's called a mesh file. And this is a secure version of your model. It eliminates any important intellectual property. Sketches and other parts of the design do not travel with it as well as this is encrypted on Cadasio's end where they're storing this on their cloud server. Check out the link above if you have some questions about Cadasio's security. Now that the files passed over into Cadasio, we'll go to the web browser and work in the interface. Clicking on the lower toolbar, I can control the colors, starting with the background color, can pick from different background styles, and I'll choose the radial for this effect. Clicking on secondary colors can create um, a more dramatic background effect. The influence button gives us more control. Clicking on one of the components like the outer case, then the color can be changed for these bodies or components. I click the shutter up above and this will capture the changes that have transpired between the last step. Down in the bottom right, there's a view cube that's just like Fusion 360 where you can adjust the views. Click to the front view and the model view updates. Over on the right is a selection tree and this allows you to click and expand and show all the bodies and components under the CAD heading. So expand and ex inspect the whole CAD structure right here. Clicking on these models, you can uncheck and hide. And now back to the lower toolbar. Change the visual appearance to edge style or adjust the silhouette to refine the style to get it just how you want it. Over on the left, there's a toolbox icon and clicking this opens up a series of 2D and 3D tools that you can use. And so I'm gonna click label and this is an intelligent label maker. You can see that the blade is recognized. There's no need to type that in. That travels from the Fusion 360 model. Now for hiding some more components in the CAD menu, uh, I'll click that and hide. And what I wanna to switch to is a different rendering style that's more technical. So and going back down to the bottom menu, I'm gonna choose a different render style to make it really clear for the instructions. I'll switch to technical render, and I like that. And then over on the left, I'm gonna click the arrow for the transform tool. And if you kind of look through this menu, you'll find the arrange button. And this is an auto explode capability. And you'll notice a, a menu popped up at the bottom. So down at the bottom, there's controlling how you explode for spacing and arranging, but also the different order of components and how they're exploded. So adjusting that, get it how I want it. 
and then I'll bring that label tool back in and select all of the different components really quick. I hit escape to wrap this up and capture this step. One thing that I really like in Cadasio is the ability to bring back a, a previous step and reuse it or get back to that state. So rather than go back and uh, kind of turn on the visibility for everything I've adjusted and changed, I can go back to an earlier step of how I want it and click to add this as the latest step and save me some time. Over on the, in the menu items on the left, there's a tool that is the wrench with a gear, and this exports as well as has some other table tools. So clicking the table will create an intelligent bill of materials that I can overlay. And finally, um, I can export all of this as a video file or a GIF to share. Okay, a few things that I've failed to mention about Cadasio. It's very likely that when you're in Fusion 360, you'll want to update that model or make some changes. So if you do, you can also update the model in Cadasio. It's very easy. The Cadasio utility will upload the revised CAD model, create a brand new mesh, and capture a new revision. But opening the file here in Cadasio, you can see it's updated and I can make a quick adjustment to the label and I'm good to go. And once you're happy with your project, you can export your steps as images, you can save an animation, or you can even share the actual project. As long as someone has a mobile device, something with a browser, they can view it. And this 3D interactive presentation should be a lot more clear and should show off your instructions and procedure. You actually can host a 3D design file easily on the web. This is something that's actually still kind of tricky today. So you can do that, um, as well as Cadasio has a series of tools for learning their technology, different tutorials that are built in, some cool showcases that you can play with for inspiration, and other resources uh, over on their website. I'll be sure to link that down below. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this tool, and if this is uh, you know a challenge that you've actually bumped into where you need to create these types of instructions. I'll see you guys in the next video.